We are on our way to Williston, North Dakota. Destination, uh, North Dakota. Hopefully to find jobs. I'm gonna go out there and try to find an oil rigging job. I'll find a job within an hour or two, they said. People with 10 felonies is getting 100 grand a year. New playing field with new opportunities. This may be some point of hope for everybody. I thought I could come out here and if I worked hard, was a hard worker and knew what I was doing, then I'd get a job pretty easy. I'm seeing now that it's not that easy. I can't afford to live. I'm just at the end of my rope. <laughs> So everyone deserves a chance. This is America. That's what this country was founded on, you know? Helping your neighbor, just being good people. We have people literally walking up to our door from all over the world saying, can you help me? If it wasn't for this place, we'd pretty much be lost. How long do we intend to support them? To see that reaction of people. They look at me like I'm an illegal alien. They have no intention of building anything here. So what is community in this place? What are we going to do here? This is not my home anymore. Cut the hair. I'm serious. Did Jesus have short hair? Jesus doesn't have our neighbors. This morning, investigators say they know a lot more about the two men they believe kidnapped her. But you haven't answered a single question. They are being invaded. I'm the one who's taking the risk here. You're going to nosedive. There's some things you're getting ready to hit the fan. There was a large manipulation that went on. I came out here to save my family, and it's probably going to cost me my family. I will not give in to despair, because hopeless should never win, and hopeless is a lie.